Now let's take a look at the simple power of Django model forms. You see, we want to actually be able to allow our users to save data in the database, and they really wouldn't use the admin or the Python shell to do that. So this one, we're going to be breaking down the basics of using Django model forms. So what does that mean? Let's actually take a look. Now inside of any given app, I'm going to go ahead and make a new file here and call it forms.py. Do keep in mind that this works for any model, not just the one we're using. So we're going to go ahead and do from Django import forms, and then we'll do from dot models. We're going to import our model, which in my case, it's product, right? And then I'm going to make a new class in here and I'm going to call this class product model form, or really I would call it product form or product create form. Um, those are a few different names that you might end up using. So we'll just leave it in as product form and we'll call it forms dot model form. And all we have to do here is do class meta model equaling to product and then the fields like the actual model fields that I want to have in here. Like, you know, which ones of these do I want? Well, let's just do title and description and price. Okay, so title and then description and then price. Okay, so we now have our model form. All I have to do is render this out in a view. So let's go into our view and let's import this. So from dot forms, import product form. And I'm gonna make a new view specifically for this. And I'll just copy this detail view real quick. And we'll call this product create view. Um, I won't worry about the object itself, right? So um, the context that I want though, is I'll just say form equals to product form. And then we'll just um, initialize it with request dot post or none. Not to worry if you don't understand what's going on here in a few videos or the next few videos, we are gonna go into a lot more depth here. So just, just bear with me. So if form dot is valid, uh, that's another thing that we will end up doing. I'll just do form dot save. Okay, and I'll go ahead and add in this form here into my context, and I'm gonna make a new one called product create.html. So that means I need to make that template itself. And by now you should absolutely know how to do all of this, right? And the simple way to do it is just copying, of course, our other template. And then in here, I need to create a form element or a form HTML element. And I'm also gonna do input type equals to submit. And we'll say value equals to save. And we'll close that off. And then inside of that, we'll just do form dot as P. So this is a built-in method that turns the form that we are passing as context into a actual HTML form rendered out with paragraph tags. We'll take a look at that code in just a moment. But now that we've got this create view, let's actually bring it into our URLs. So into URLs, we'll import this in, and I'll just go ahead and make a new path for it. I'll just call it create, and it's gonna be the product create view, okay? So again, let's make sure everything's saved all across the board, forms, templates, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and look into this create. And here we go. We've got our form rendered out here with the actual fields that we specified. So I'll just say new product. This is awesome. And some price, right? Doesn't really matter. I hit save and I get some error here, right? So I've got this stuff up here. It's not really an error. It's just I didn't actually specify the method that I'm using on the form itself. So back in my template, we'll go ahead and say form method equals to post. And we're also going to add in this CSRF token. Okay, these things we will absolutely discuss when we break this down and go from bare minimum. I just wanted to show you how to do it first, hopefully to pique your interest to learn a lot more about this. That's the point. Okay, so I refresh in here. Let's get rid of all that stuff in the URL and I'll just do new product again and description doesn't matter. 
price twelve ninety nine. Okay, so I've got this not null constraint failed, right? So I have an error here, and that's because if we look at our model, let's take a look, we have this featured, and it's required and it's not blank. That's where this error happens. This error happens all the time, which is part of the reason I actually left it there. Um, so to actually overcome this for now, what I'm gonna do is just add in a default of true or a default of false. Either way, that part doesn't matter. But we made some changes to our models. So what do we do? Python manage.py, make migrations. Oops, we wanna make sure we're in the root of our project where Python manage.py is make migrations and python manage.py migrate. Okay, let's try that again. And we'll say new product or new course, whatever. Doesn't actually matter. Like I said, a million times. I go ahead and save that. And um, I, I can't tell if actually anything changed. So let's go into our admin. Let's just log in there, go into our products. And what do you know? It looks like I have more products. So I've got new course here and then new course here. So I actually saved a few different items of data. Um, so one way to solve that problem as in clear out what's in there um, is really simple. We just go back into our view and we re-render it. Just like that. So we would just re-render the form so then the context will change and update for us. So let's go ahead. We can literally re-submit that same data. Um, we get this error, that's a security problem, or not a security problem, but a security feature. So let's go ahead and just add in another one and some price, we hit save, clears out the form for us. We go into the back end, and what do you know? We've got our product there. Um, cool, so we now have a model form. So in the next few videos, what we're gonna do is really just break this down a lot more in depth. Like, how do I actually build a HTML form from scratch and understand that data. That's where we'll start. And then we'll get more and more complicated to better understand how forms work in general, and then better understand how they work with Django. Because this is certainly not the only way to do it, but it's a fairly easy way. Um, even if it doesn't feel like it's that easy of a way, I promise this is a fairly easy way to do it. So make sure you subscribe to get everything, and I'll see you next time.